What's up everyone, it's Vaporstar Dragomar, now it's time for some more League of Legends. In this episode, we're going to be covering the all-new champion, Nico. Although, Nico and what she does varies a lot. I, because my second time on her, I had to face a lot of evil stuff and end up getting destroyed. So, your results may vary, um... This game alone was a challenge. Um, I'm probably going to have to play her in some some bots to get more used to her or whatever because uh, I, it's like you have to play it well in order to be able to make it around everyone else who's been playing their champions for a long time. So we're against a Jax, a Xin Zhao, and a Teemo. Yeah, that's not annoying at all. <laughs> that's not an annoying enemy team comp at all. <laughs> so he has the uh, new Frozen Prince Mundo skin, which is all new. Become one with the jungle. And I'm going to go borderless. Um, borderless, go. And zoom in on me. Alright, so I'm assembling my items. Or talking to them. Welcome to the Twisted Tree Line. So I'm going to get a Doran's Ring and an Amp Tome. Minions have spawned. And we're going to go to lane, I believe. And now Mundo is going to have a conflict with the Jax. And I'm going to be here on my phone. And getting, of course, blinded by Teemo. So, harassing. Blooming Burst. Blooming Burst is um, a very good harass tool. Because I'm, I'm trying to use Blooming Burst to keep him at me. As you can imagine, Blooming Burst does a lot of damage, and that, that damage increases with the amount of ability power you have. So I land Tangle Bard which does a lot of damage. Um, basic attacking and farming minions is tricky. We both end up flashing. <laughs> I don't know why he ne feels he needs to find me, but okay. And no, I don't really know what I'm doing. I wanted to like outplay him under tower, but then he flashed. So he locks an altar. Spelling B is one of my recent friends, but he has trouble. Uh, Munda gets first blood onto the Jax. Using the Blooming Bird to try to get these minions. Hopefully catch him with it. Now with the Tangle Bones. 
Sitting on Nico is a pain in the ass. You can probably tell. Um, I'm thinking of going over here to As you can see, it was very good damage. Trying to use shape splitter to um, deceive them. See, they're attacking my clone over there. They see my clone and they're like, let's attack that. It's just a clone, guys. It's just a clone. So if you if you guys don't know, uh, Nico has a cloning mechanic. It allows you to clone the enemy. That, I mean, clone either, uh, not clone the enemy, clone yourself, excuse me. Clone yourself as well as clone one of your friends. Cloning the enemy, though, would be even more hilarious. You know, like, which one of us is. Well, they still get that. Enemy. You're cloning your allies. That's a wooden ghost on him, that's not damage. getting ganked. Oh, spelling bee has killed the jacks. Believe it or not, this match is a long cloud fiesta. Trying to farm, but yeah, this, this game's turning into a fiesta. Mundo gets a kill into the Zinjao. Which is impressive. <laughs> Trying to get the tangle barns on the end of the bush. Because that's a key setup for Nico is to set up tangle barns and then throw a blooming burst on them to increase the damage of it. That's what I've learned from playing. Unfortunately. Sometimes I just get absolutely blown to shreds playing Nico. And then they're like, oh, just play the regular champion. So I played so much left and Vago. So let's see if I can do some damage. Decides to go walk away and just just leave it with the poppy kill. By the way, this is my first time playing Nico in a regular game.
We have to deal with Xin Zhao and his nonsense. I'm trying to farm up for items. Team, I was trying to farm up for items and blind me constantly. So Xin Zhao is poking his nose everywhere, as Xin Zhao usually does. Now I got more items. Wow, Xin Zhao is taking a lot. Missing the damn chemo blind. The mechanic is still there. Still annoying, but every time I yeah, I got a uh, shape splitter on him. Try to get him off me. Stay relevant with Teemo. So far, I didn't know that the shape splitter increased my damage because I didn't look carefully at the abilities. Mundo gets a shutdown in the Zinja. to uh, get away the shape splitter which is the farm anyway since Nika's a chameleon she has that weird recall that she has where she like uses a tree because she is like a part human chameleon uh, creature so I've got some uh, good on I got a good tangle bar. I got my pop blossom. And I got my green boost. I don't green boost this year. I got my night off. And my green boost does a lot of damage. I mean, the tangle barbs. And my vast basic attack destroys them all. Yep. Yep. Finally getting to learn and see the power of Nico. Although there are other times where it goes badly. And I decided to be fair, I'm gonna show it. And it goes so you can see that the Tangle Barb is not just a setup for your booming burst, it's also a setup for your ultimate. Which, uh, as you can plainly see, is a big setup tool for your other abilities.
So now I have a three kills on a Morel and Omicron. And Jax kills our top. off because I have more CDR. <laughs> he uses his Zonias to try to survive by ulti. He don't get away. Although Mundo doesn't get away from Xin Zhao either. more items, more AP. I'm gonna get Corrupting Potion and extra mana stuff, but then I, I rethink my purchase later, at least for the mana crystal, I think. <laughs> I believe... I have been writing up my storyline as well, which is also insane. There is a good amount I've written on it, but I need to try to figure out how I'm going to close out my latest chapter on the Demon Pirate Coast. So I have to figure that one out. And that's always tricky. I should have plainly seen, although I don't have to see it. Ashun still like, remains. Landmine. I was hoping the moon of this guy was gonna stop him, but. I tried to use my ultimate as a shield, but it wasn't enough of a So that's me trying to use the Mundo disguise. But I'm trying to use the disguise of someone else to try to deceive. So we ended up killing both of the Mundos. Spelling Bee uses Keeper. Keeper's very He's trying to. She's trying to stop the chemo. Unfortunately, it does not work out. But she does make it out of They use the gun blade to do it. So as you can see, damage reveals yourself. It reveals you if you're trying to disguise it someone. That's one of the reasons that Zyra and other Pope champions are bad or annoying for Nico is that it reveals her disguise, and it removes her disguise, and it also um, hurts her a lot, as you can probably tell. She has good burst. Her poke is okay, but it's not as good as Sun Chan. Nico, in my opinion, likes to all in people. Transform into a poppy. Uh, poppy is dead. You will actually look perfectly like the poppy, by the way. Um, 
if you're if you're playing this, like you will look perfectly like the poppy. He's like, yeah, I love it. This form that you get and you transform into something else. I got enough of a shield for my ulti to get away. Now I'm going uh, Bammy Cinder for the burn to increase my burn. <laughs> There's a team of shield. Hopefully, it's not kill spelling bee. I've got the two moon to I did get the tangle bar, but as you can see, their burst damage is a bit high. That's besides poke, another thing that counters uh, Nico is high burst. My biggest problem last time playing Nico is just the very high burst. Responses. Okay, I get the I get the root. Oh, I thought she was gonna stay there. He was gonna stay there. Okay. I mean, I got the tangle ball. It wasn't enough to get the I got a root. They didn't stay within the radius of the ulti, so well, that was annoying. Yes, this game is a clown fiesta. If you're asking. is still itchy. I mean, like, I still have a sore throat and just cough because, I don't know. I don't know why I do, but... Okay, I transform back into Moon. There's Zin Zhao. I'm disguising myself as E.T. Recall. Now I can despise myself as Spelling Bee, the poppy. So now there are two poppies. Jack's Moonwalla is from the club Be Gay. Bye Gay. I disguised myself as Mundo, but I'm really Mundo is no help.
So yeah, if anyone wants to see this new champion, I do. Um, I've shown I, I can, I'm showing you what it's been, <laughs> or at least what my first experience in a regular game was. My second experience was really horrible. Like I was having a, I was having an experience similar to this poppy. It was not a fun. It was not a fun time. <laughs> now I've completed Sunfire Cape. I know it's not a regular Nico item, but gives defensive stats. Got some blooming burst on him, some damage. They have the uh I don't know. We're getting into late game territory. I get to disguise myself as Frozen Prince Mundo, the E.T. Recall. I can disguise myself as any champion on my team, even if they ha if we have an Urgot, I can disguise myself as Urgot. <laughs> disguise myself as Urgot. That's hilarious. Jack's still coming. Get the shield from him. I get the tango barbs on him and kill him. Which gives us some much needed momentum. I'm gonna allow him to split. Going to get more items. <clears throat> <coughs> My throat today, damn. It's so bad. Oh yeah, and uh, happy holidays, guys. I hope you're enjoying your holidays. I mean, I'm moderately enjoying my holidays. I mean, granted I have colds and stuff, and I don't want to get a new computer, but other than that, yeah, enjoying uh, my holidays. No, well, I'm attacking these dominions. This guy's a copy. And I got the root with the uh, Pokemon. And Mundo gets the ace. And then Teemo gets a shutdown because he's getting a lot of AP. I have my Woogle's Witch Cap completely. <laughs> Try to defend minions. And he's locked the altar. So we're getting the objectives, which is good.
I've uh, tried to disguise myself as Mundo again. I'm gonna get these minions. And look like Mundo at the same time. Moonwallet died, but Scotty Piffin died. Oh, we are. And with that, I have a problem with my ult and a basic attack. I got him. Still, the shroom is such a long sword. I have close to 3,000 health. Sunfire Cave. Poppy is now 3 and 10. I was 3 and 8 on my bad match on this on Nico. So yeah. Poppy had a similar <laughs> But you know. You can get destroyed on almost any character. Red team's and it was a Nexus Blitz against a horde of Platinum 4s, so that was part of it. So now I'm going to get a Giant's Belt for more health. So now I definitely have over 3k. If I get a War Mogs, I could have the regen. Plus the AP, so that I do damage and I'm difficult to kill at the same time. I have around 288 AP. It's not the most AP, but it's not that And turn invisible. You get a bramble vest. So now when they basic attack me, it's gonna hurt them. And I can turn into a poppy. Unfortunately, the shroom reveals who you are. And also does a good third of my health, despite the fact I have 3,000 health. Get my old I get my clone off and my zonies, but I probably die. I get my root off. I can't. Try to get my blooming burst off. Shut down. But I took one too many turns to the base. Mundo doesn't even have his war mods complete, but he's looking for me. He's trying to keep the pressure on. Man, my throat is so scratchy. <clears throat> Don't know why today, but probably for the rest of the day, is going to be scratchy as hell. In terms of farm, I'm doing better than the Teemo by one farm, which is amazing considering my situation. Where I have to try to hold up the Poppy who has all these deaths. And then again, the Poppy's a Viger main, not a Poppy main, so that's part of it. Red Team's turret has been destroyed. Blooming, 
burst out. Fire on there to get the inhibitors. At least one inhibitor. Poppy's off farming that jungle. Try to go around. He gets a shot. He gets that. I get the tango balls and my ulti. And I get the damage. Nuno gets the double kill. And the ace. He walks over Shroom. But it barely hurts him because he's moving down. They're getting water from under. Has been destroyed. You get that turret. And that's the game. And that's the game, guys. That's the game.